In this video, I'll show you different types of chips that we can use in Android. So in our last video, we created this chip group and we have this chips added inside this chip group. So let me delete all. Okay, I'm keeping only two here. Okay, so we have like four different types of chips and uh, we need to use we need to define it by using one style so you can define the style here so use it as style and it is defining widget material component chip and here you can see like we have these four types of chips available one is action one is second one is a choice and the entry and the filter let me use filter for this one and again the filter for the second one now let me start the app so here you can see that these two chips are added here these are called filter chips and if i click on it then it added one check mark here and it's marked as checked okay we can also change this icon and also we can customize the chip like changing the background color and text that i'll show you in another video but uh, this is called filter chip we can also define like different types of properties like if this chip should be marked as checkable or not so here if i mark it as check true then you can see that this one is checked by default so the check properties is to check if uh, one filter chip is checked or not so let me write it as filter one and this one is filter two i'm copying this chip group and the next chip group will be for different types of chips and here let me change the constraint layout to linear layout so i can use linear layout and also we need to oh uh, yeah and we need to give one direction for this linear load so i am giving this orientation as vertical and the id can be same so suppose it was this one is chip, chip one this one is chip two then we can have like different ids so let's use some different chips in the second chip group so we have used chip filter and for the second one let me use as entry second one also i am going to use it as entry chip so you can see that for entry chips it's added one close icon so these chips are useful if you want the user to select or add something and user can click on this close icon to delete these items now let me restart it so you can see that these are we can click on this and this will be checked and if i click on it then these are unselected unchecked so we can also remove this checkable part like uh, suppose user is adding something we want to only show the chip and if user click on these chips then we don't want to do anything then here we can use checkable and we can give it as false now if i start it now you can see that if when i am clicking on the strips it's not selecting and deselecting it okay next let's move to the next third group of chip i'm gonna copy this group and i'm pasting it here Okay, let me remove the ids because we are not using these ids for now and the third one i'm gonna use the choice chip okay second one is the choice and let me change the title of these chips this one is entry one this one is entry two and for this one this one is choice one and this one is choice two so here the choice chips are like creating one choice so for that we need to define in the chip group we don't need these constraints okay so here we can define that 
single selection in group so that means that we can select only one of these sources now if i select this one okay it's not changing let me change the checkable false now if i restart it if i click on this choice one then it will select the choice one and if i select the choice two then you can see that this one is unselected and this one is selected and if i remove this single selection now you can see that i can select both so these are called choice shifts and we have one more this one is called action shifts so here i need to use it as action and this one is also i need to use it as action so let me change the text as well action one and action two okay i need to copy this part here okay so action shifts are like just uh, like simple shifts these are like buttons now you can see that i can click on it and these are like to get any actions from the user like these are like similar to buttons so that's all for now so these are the types of shifts that you can use and in our next video i'll show you how you can customize the shifts like sending the color of the chip or changing the color of the text sending this close button all or this check button if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you love this video please like it and please share it with your friends thanks bye